since since NHL 08, you guys have basically made, in my opinion, the best hockey game ever every year. How do you guys keep topping yourselves every year, and how do you like you know not get lazy almost and uh, keep improving the game? Well, you know what, making hockey in Canada is a huge passion of ours. So every year we push and push and push try and figure out how to raise the bar and innovate, take the feedback from the fans. And, you know, for us, we're all, you know, fans of the game, fans of the sport. So we want to make the best game possible so we can play too. So, you know, it's really just taking the feedback from the fans, you know, push ourselves to innovate and uh, and just make the best game possible. Every year you guys have something new. What's new in Aaron Show 11? Yeah, this year really excited. Brand new real-time physics engine. You know, I talk about us trying to raise the bar every year. And this year we're really, really pushing the boundaries with the real-time physics engine. It's really changed the foundation of our gameplay. You know, not only does it get us big hits where anything can happen, and you got limb on limb contact, big hits in open, in open ice, big hits against the boards, but also you know smaller things like stick on stick contact for our new face off system. Um, just the way the puck bounces off the goalie's pads versus his his chest protector off the board. So just really changing the, the you know the foundation of our gameplay. A question I had about the broken sticks. I know you could break them on shots. Can you can they be broken on slashes? They'll be broken on slashes. Uh, broken on hits, the sticks will actually go loose as well. Again, I talk about you know our team being really passionate about hockey. You know, one of the SCs who was working on the broken stick feature uh, went home one night, saw that you know actually guys are getting hit and losing their stick. He leveraged the broken stick system that he was implementing, and now we have guys dropping sticks on hits occasionally. So you know, really just trying to be true to the sport. And the most exciting thing is people have asked for this feature. Probably you know it's probably the most requested feature over the past three years. Uh, people say, well, why just break the stick and have the guy go to the bench? Uh, it's not really the way we do things on NHL, we want to do it right. You know, we want to have all the key elements. You break a stick, you be able to play without a stick, skate without a stick, block passes without a stick. You know, if you're a defenseman and break your stick in the defensive zone, your forward will come back and hand the stick off. So we have that in there as well. Um, skate to the bench, get a new stick. So really just all the elements of it, we want to do it right and just be authentic to, you know, the broken sticks feature itself. Speaking of sticks, I know you guys have a new deke system too. Uh, can you tell us about that a little bit? Yeah, so we've had a loose puck deke system in the past, you know, since 07. Um, probably not the most accessible feature and this year with the real-time physics engine. We expect people to enjoy hitting a lot more and step up and try and throw more hits and we wanted something, a good counter, to, you know, just for good gameplay balance. So we have a new quick deke system, you know, on the 360, just holding down the left bumper and flicking the stick left or right, up or down, will give you a quick deke and have you a chance, have a chance of getting around those big hits. You know, you can drop the puck back to your skates. If a guy lies down and you know, if you play online a lot, you see guys lying down. You can now, like Richard Zednik, jump over the player by holding the left bumper and flicking up. So really just, again, giving total user control, making it accessible to everyone so they can have fun and play our game. I know traditionally, and I, I, I visit the boards and all that good stuff, so I know people complain about the the same animation for the face-offs. Completely overhaul the face-offs. You're absolutely right. They, you know, people didn't even know how the face-off system worked. They pulled back on the right stick. So this year, completely overhauled. Um, again, giving you total user control in the face-off circle. So, you know, you can use a real-time physics engine, knock the guy's stick away, and pull the pack glass. Or if you're, you know, a, a more skilled player, put the puck through the guy's legs and go, or shoot the puck off the face-off. We saw a great goal in the playoffs this year where a guy scored off the face-off. Um, and also tying up. People have asked for the ability to tie players up, so we have that as well. So really, again, just giving total user control um, in all aspects of the game, including face-offs this year. As far as game modes go, any new game modes in the game? Maybe a winter classic this year? Yeah, we got some stuff. We got some announcements coming out. Not talking about it quite yet, but uh, we got some stuff coming down the pipe, definitely.